Hi there, I'm Grandma Jen. Today I'm going to read The Grumpy Monkey. The Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. Illustrated means drew the pictures. One wonderful day, Jim Panzee woke up to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched over. So Jim loosened up a little bit. Then he ran into the lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told lemur. Why are you so grumpy, Jim, said lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over a snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said the snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to the snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel much like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging either. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And he stormed off. See right there, he stormed off. He was not happy. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I'm grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy, asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Jim. Do you see the porcupines in his bottom? Holy cow. Are you okay, asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I just need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman, and Jim agreed. And he already felt a little better. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book and I'll see you again next week.